What? What's this one there? Sir! <laughs> <laughs> I took a fucking hard left on this corner, but uh, again. <laughs> Sir, you've lost two hats to rip tonight, the one that. I never called the police on him one day, he was chasing kids around the sweets. I think one of the shop stalkers is a pedophile. <laughs> William Wonka? Billy Wonka? Bill <laughs> Do you lose pubes as you get older? I hope so. <laughs> Where did that search you, that top? Oh, uh, what, jammies? Come on. <laughs> You see the piece? <laughs> see the piece? <laughs> so, hey, that's the full Christmas dinner right there, sir. <laughs> Family. <laughs> it fucking smells like a Christmas dinner. Go <laughs> <laughs> ahead, dogs off the lead. <laughs> <laughs> All day like who? All day like who? Chimneys is crazy, you fucking bastard! Yeah. Oh, uh, absolutely scooted. Who <laughs> splashed his name? The sipping dogs will save you. <laughs> uh, are we good? We're good to go. Are you sure? I don't think I am. I put this fear up a bit. Speaking of fatal, uh, <laughs> do we want to start with a bit of Christmas music? Oh, he's been back. Oh, he's back. <laughs> I'll <the> camera. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jesus. Happy birthday, Jesus. Merry Christmas, Jesus. It's Christmas Day today. Holy Alan. fuck, that's mad. Uh, people are people are at home, full of mimosas. Watching it with their families. Yes. I want you to put this podcast on when your granny's around. Put it on, tell your auntie what you really think of her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he left you. It was a lucky escape. Take them bounties with you. No one hits them anyway. Take yeah, some gammon and fuck off. <laughs> full, full slice of gammon to the head. No one likes you anyway, Lorraine. <laughs> <laughs> Lorraine is such a <laughs> <dandy> name too. <laughs> Is right. Like you have to wear a tiger. <laughs> yeah. At first, you know, like once you get to know her, yeah, <laughs> still her, but you're used I, to it. up front. But yeah. you know, she's she's nice when you get to know her. Fuck, I'm cutting up front here. No. I'm cutting up front. I'm like an old car you've left out in the sun. <laughs> Fear it, <laughs> guys. Go to patreon.com forward slash the bomb squad pod and give us all your Christmas money. You motherfuckers. Because we work hard, you know what I mean? We're in here, Jesus Christ, two hours a week. And, you know, flat out. Give us all that money. Back's broke. Back's broke. <laughs> Back's broke. You know what I mean? No, I'm joking. You do a good one. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. fuck. Yeah, <laughs> <let's go. laughs> Taxi. Taxi. <laughs> Hello, phone account. <laughs> Right now, though, stay on that page. I want to get up to the seven seater. <laughs> <laughs> the big man's on his back. I'm going to soak this up with bread. Uh, Can I get a taxi for two Montes? <laughs> what do they take orcas to SeaWorld in? Send that. Double Dakar. <laughs> <laughs> no, do it seriously. Well, sorry. Um, uh, right now, thanks for watching the sport. If you haven't already, please. For the love of God. <laughs> Slide on over to that Patreon. Oh. Uh, Jesus Christ, uh, honest God, if uh, you couldn't even, you wouldn't have enough pockets for the amount of content on there. <laughs> They'd be stuffed. Even if you were in work trousers or something like that. And there's live podcasts. Yep. There's bonus podcasts every week. Oh. There is um, <laughs> exclusive pre sale tickets up for grabs. And let me tell you something, 2024. There's a lot of that coming. So get ahead of the crowd. Get onto the Patreon. Join the community. And God bless you. Merry Christmas. And a happy new fucking year. <laughs> <laughs>
Real bad man. That was nice. That was nice. That was great. I'm like a t-shirt you've watched a hundred times. <laughs> Fear it. <laughs> I tell you what, any time in my life uh, that I've started the drinking with whiskey. Aye. Aggressive. Possible. Aggressive. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> the boys wanted to get some beers. We talked on a few Jackie Splashies. Uh, and it is, it is a vintage uh, Jack Daniels that Niall brought ages ago. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Good year. I'm sure you don't mind. Good year. We bust into it. We got the soup and dogs. We got soup and dogs. Uh, are we jumping right in with a taste test? Welcome back to the Xmas mukbang. Bob's called mukbang. I'm going to wait a minute. I have a, I have a fucking Arctic. What do you call them? Nordic Spiritin. Now the sausage, the sausage will have went a bit cold today. Uh, what I was thinking, I don't hate it. You don't hate it. it that's what I'm saying. I put that post up, and uh, you know everyone was like, you know, soup and dog, you know, and then everyone was like, that's what I got at primary school for, for des- or not dessert, like on a Friday. That was their party one. That was the, that was like the casual Fridays. <laughs> Happy Friday. We're busting out the soup and dogs. Exactly. No, it's nice. I tell you what, though, mm. you can't beat the Santa sausage. Yeah, we were in Creighton's. Creighton's was it? Uh, mm top of the Lisburn Road there and it's the type of place where you queue up at the deli and people are like can I get the carbonara you know <laughs> can, I, uh, can I get you know their order can I get the prosciutto uh, you know yeah shit like that and I went up and I, I nearly whispered it you know what I mean it was like I'm really sorry man but <laughs> can I get eight glizzies in the box <laughs> please did they ask if you wanted bops or were you just like just plain sausage no he just he knew the drill he was like yeah it's no problem oh, 100% yeah it's far from the rarest order we've had today. Yeah, give us fucking eight, eight dogs in a box. I saw, like, it was like, you know, like a bargain bucket, essentially, where it was like end of the day in a filling station, and they had just vacuum-packed all the shit that did not sell in the deli counter, and it was like four wee mini jam bonds, two sovereign fried chicken fillets, and a fuckload of chips, three pound. Unbelievable. Dangerously close to buying it. Dave was telling me about, you can go to Tim Hortons. Is that, is that all Tim Hortons? Some of them, you can go to Tim Hortons, like, past a certain time and just be like, give me that mystery box. Oh. And they just give you a whole rig of shit in there. Oh, loving that mystery box. Loving it. How much was it, tenner? Ten oh, that's the Christmas spirit right there. What'd you get in the mystery box? Just wrapping tape. You just put it in the cancel box. Couple of tin bits? No, that's like... Yeah. Bits. They're nice too, though. What? Them wee fucking tin bit boys. Uh, well, of course you'd like them. Just, you go for them like Pac-Man. Anyway, yeah. They, they always taste like they've been there for nine days. Uh, Nice wee treat, though. Oh, uh, well, yeah. In between treats. What is your strategy for Christmas Day in terms of, like... I just, well, hold on. Before we get started on that, I'd like to... What, are, what, are, what do you think people are doing right now? You know, listen to this on Christmas Day. I would say there's a mixture. So you probably got some people that are watching this with the family. Uh-huh. Being like, oh, I love this shit. And then you got people that are, like, um, probably actually a couple of lads in Australia. Oh. Or having like a Christmas wave from home. Shout out to the boys. Shout out to the Aussies. Shout out to the throne representation in yeah. Australia. Shout out to or, yeah, all of fucking Ireland that are in Australia right now. Swear to God, fucking setting looks like Sally's from bar. I, uh, why do these people go away? You know, they're like, man, I'm over here with a six pack and a really hot Australian girlfriend. Though, but I, man, I just want potato and a bit of a laugh with the yeah. boys. You know, that's all they want. <laughs> man, I just like the, man, the sound of your voice. Yeah. And a Veda. I just wanted an authentic Chinese. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking hard as the road, I tell you. What did I come out here for? Fro you? Fro you. <laughs> what am I out here for? Waxed fannies? Yeah. No way home. <laughs> Good day, you s***ies. <laughs> Good day to you, shower bastards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you probably got that. You probably got um, people who are like avoiding their family. They're just like, I can't be arsed listening to these hairs. Uh, either like, I'm away to walk the dog. Yeah. And they're having a giggle down a lane somewhere. Yeah. Who's a lane? Am I right? Shout out, Robbie. Yeah. Uh, you do get to the cars that'll go for the Christmas run. We got a, probably got a few Christmas runners. Yeah, you know. Yeah, losers. Yeah, are the ones who go down the beach. Sort yourselves out. All them cold water therapists. You gotta go. You gotta. I mean, I've talked about this before. The worst, the worst Christmas experience I had was got up very early. They get stuck into the mimosas. Mm. I was trashed. Oh yeah, mimosas are shit faced. Oh yeah. I had to go, and it wasn't even like a fun drunk. Like, oh my god, I'm a bit tiddly at eight in the morning. It yeah. was like, I was like, I'm gonna lie on the floor here, throw a fucking tinfoil yeah. blanket over me. Yeah, side of an alley in a nightclub. Yeah, just fucking a night. Hold on. Uh, does that fizzy wine give you the like, go straight to the head? I don't know how women drink it. Like, I don't know how women drink prosecco. Every time I drink it, like, I feel like I've drank battery acid. Yeah, and they go mental. You go, you do go mental, like. Oh yeah. You go like old lady drunk when you have champagne. Which is fun. Wine drunk's very fun. Yeah. You get like a bit like, you know, divorce a mum. Aye. Uh, you know. These are all snakes. Yeah. 
it does it does go right to your brain though. Oh, I, you know, you're like, I've got a hangover already. Like, yeah, wine hangovers are absolutely stinking. That'll ruin Christmas. Yeah, I've never been a Christmas Eve drinker. You know, no, nah. Like the odd time we might have went to the pub and had a few pints, but nothing crazy. Like, I don't know how people fuck up the dinner for themselves like that. Yeah, like the Christmas dinner is a great dinner. Yeah, and to throw a hangover into the mix of that, you know, it's just like any other meal at that stage that you got to hang for. Yeah. Although Christmas Eve drinking is a big thing, like. Oh yeah. Christmas yeah. Day drinking's a big thing. I've been to, I, you know, as soon as I started going out with Maureen, they would be going to midnight mass on a, and they don't go to mass any other time, but they're like, come on. Oh yeah. But I used to do material about that. They, we would go to the pub and get chinned, and then be like, fuck, 12 o'clock, sprint across the road and stand there swaying about, like. Like you go to mass, Stephen? Oh, I. What's that like? That's an experience. As a raging loyalist. Uh, <laughs> No, not even, but like, having, having never been at the regular church. Very surreal. And then going to like full, you know, you know, midnight mass with like, and it's the most busy it's ever been. Yeah. Everyone's, everyone does their last minute praying. You know what really it's like, me up? It's like shopping. I was like, how do they remember all the bars? Uh, yeah, <laughs> like everyone's but, doing the prayers, mom. Like, yeah, well, lost. Everyone's go so infrequently that they're like, Jesus, they've changed the lyrics. All right. Woken us gone mad. <laughs> the Lord's Prayer remastered. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They've taken all. Everything says they instead of he. <laughs> <laughs> they is our Lord and Savior. <laughs> but people pray the way they do the shopping. Yeah, last minute, last chance. No, Christmas, no, Christmas tomorrow. Better, wash them sins off to fuck. Better wash them sins off. Yeah. <laughs> and you can see the ones that are in mass, you know, three times a day. They're like, yeah, you fucking rats turning up last minute. Hi, fair Every, weather. Everyone's hammered. Everyone's doing, doing the like heavy nose, nose breathing, <laughs> nose breathing. Yeah. Everyone's like, <sighs> oh, yeah. Eight piss breaks in a prayer. I couldn't, no, I couldn't sit for a mass. No, no arm on my bladder. And they're trying to be a couple of fucking <laughs> mass farts as well. I mean, every head might be going for a tinkle. No <laughs> arm. <laughs> I can't sit that. Got it's a full own, concert. Like. Got my own holy water here. <laughs> <laughs> but I, what is what is your strategy, right? Like you wake up, do you have a Christmas morning beer or do you kind of, like obviously. <sighs> nah, with, probably not. Yeah. I've got a child now. Yeah. Know, I've got to wait. I'll probably do, I'll probably not do any drinking all day and mm -hmm. then get him to bed. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be like, I can't even be arsed now, you know? Yeah. Boxing day is a big day. Boxing day is nearly a bigger day for us. Because that's when the whole family's around. Mm. So we're just all on it. All day. Yeah. Each one of the siblings. Who, who's the first mess to go to bed? Or Nobody really turns that. into a mess. Everyone's a very different drunk in our house, is what yeah. I've noticed. And then watch them all together at the table is hilarious. Now, f based on the fact that one of the, one of the last times I've seen your father, God uh, bless him, God mm -hmm. bless him, the man was drinking double vods in Red Bull. And he was oh, about, eight, about 80. Oh, he, still, yeah, he still had a dog in him. He still had that dog in <laughs> him. <laughs> you want, speaking of dogs, <laughs> you cut him open. <laughs> Full of that. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the guy was trying to kick down a fucking security door with two double vods in his hand. Oh, I. The man stayed double parked the whole night. Did he? Yeah, why? Aye. Aye. He just had two fucking hang He had two vodkas <laughs> at all times and they took on the brandies <laughs> as a palate cleanser. <laughs> <laughs> he was just <laughs> literally Aye. using brandy as ginger. Yeah, he's like, I'm so I'll here, pump the brakes. I'll move the brandy. <laughs> and then my mad, she's like an emotional drunk. You know, she's like a wine. No, she'd be like a gin or a vodka drinker. But like the way she drinks vodka is like up to here and then has like a dash of Coca-Cola. Uh, that's that generation where like, I wouldn't want to be fat. Oh, I 100%. <laughs> wouldn't want to be putting on any wasted cal What do you call them? Empty calories? Yeah. I'll take cirrhosis before I take out a couple of pounds. <laughs> But it is stinking like like I'm just sitting there fully yellow. <laughs> <laughs> but at least I'm skinny. Half so, of my woman my age, fat cows. I love Christmas Day by four o'clock, like, like Marge Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> but I call everyone homie. <laughs> she done her <laughs> <laughs> She done her years. You know, she put in her years. Uh, now the sister's taking over, she's carried the torch, she's making the dinner every year. Uh, so she gets fucking lit every year. Are you at home for Christmas Day? We go to my sister's every year. Christmas Day. I think it will be you know, because if you're not drinking and staying at the house, a, a fun day out would be to just drive down to your house <laughs> with fucking Eddie and be like, here, here. Oh, I, and yeah. me and you in the garden. <laughs> Merry Christmas, good luck. Yeah, I had a Christmas bane last year with one of my brother-in-laws. Did you? Don't, don't we tell anybody about that? <laughs> Everyone can just see you outside the window. <laughs> Shh. Keep it to yourself. Oh, I walked on Ho Chin. Like, uh, so this was just after the dinner. I tell oh, you what. Nice. 
Aye, post post Christmas dinner dart is uh, <laughs> it is a lovely one. Who who call them darts, man? Tyrone, man. They call them darts. We dart. We dart or a bane. Uh, or that's pretty much it. Do you know where bane comes from? Where woodbane? Yeah, uh, uh, the brand. Yeah, uh, yeah, taking out of woodbane. Aye. Uh, but I, I'd be a seasonal smoker. I'd be a fair weather smoker. Yeah. You know, it's only for like a, like a Christmas and my holidays. And a wake and bake vapor. Oh, why? Yeah. Yeah. You were getting slagging about that fucking deodorant can you were smoking last week. <laughs> I know. Well, here. New Year, new me. Aye. Uh, no, no, Aye. Aye. My arse. No, I'm down, you know. Enough's enough. My. <laughs> I'm on the dog side. My arsehole. I need a new addiction. No, I swear. You have so many life events, you just push things like a week. Mm-hmm. You know, you'd be like, ah, after after Christmas, after I go to America, after I do this. Watch. Watch this bitch. <laughs> Dunkin' Dogs. Sorry, going up. <laughs> <laughs> what New Year's resolutions do you have? Give up the vapes. Give up the vapes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Losing our temper. <laughs> By the way, the weight loss challenge was supposed to end tonight. Oh, I, I've won. <laughs> He's won. <laughs> He's won. Now you get that cardboard cut out. <laughs> Order. <laughs> we didn't specify what Christmas. <laughs> See, today is a very interesting day, right? Yeah. Because I have, you've got lavery tonight. Correct. I've got Yuri tonight. Correct. We're talking into the Jackie splashes and beers right now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I dare say, Yuri. You know, it's literally just before Christmas. It's going to be a bear pit. I'm going to go in half tanked, at mm-hmm. least, and then come back to that recent night and go on the vines. Yes. Yeah, this is my stuff, too. Yeah, we we missed the comedians Christmas, too, but it was it was organized too far in advance. Yeah. I don't know, like, give, give me too much time to think. I'll start freaking out about it. You know, if you give me two minutes notice to get drunk during the day, I'll be like, yes. Yeah, this is totally last minute, you know. And we've been about an hour, boys. We've put together a bucket of beer. Soup and dogs. Aye. What more could you want? <laughs> Nile bought me new jammies. <laughs> he fucking, he fucking. Sorry, I'm not even joking. I don't know. Oh, that's right. The boys got us gifts as well. What? Huh? We open these now. <laughs> Nile, I don't know, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna beat this. Like a new pair of jammies. That's the fucking key to my heart. I know you fucking. You were in them before, before the ride of the bag. So now it's about joke ones. If anyone enjoys uh, the sound of us eating. We'll do, a, we'll do a second podcast, Patreon. We Christmas mug bang for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, I the red label. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ, sir. That's for Dave. Thank you very much, Dave. Oh, my. Dave. Oh, aye. Oh, aye. Hey, my Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo Trace Spice. What does is, what is Rogan always say? This is older than America. It's pretty dead slavery. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Yeah, I told you boys, you're getting you're getting January gifts. And then I, what the fuck is this? Is it Elda? Is it Elda? I, I open that one. This one? Yeah. Like, like a party cup sort of went to mess with. Oh, why? <laughs> It's gonna be fun time strawberry loop. <laughs> oh yeah! Show <laughs> the hot dog. <laughs> Help that glizzy go down. <laughs> ah. Oh. Ah, no loop did it for that. He just got me crisps, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, God love you for thinking that's gonna fit my hair, though. Is that for a child? <laughs> Party mix. Party mix. <laughs> fucking right, though. It's gonna be my fucking toilet tomorrow morning. Party mix. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, there's so many. Is that a donut? Uh, nope. Wrapped up? Nope. Christmas time. Open the, this is uh, so exciting. Open the flat one, okay. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> <laughs> are we axed him? <laughs> Just what I've always wanted. <laughs> Replicate, 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 pulling the one. Toning, I thought that said toning loop. To, toning tube. But yeah, they come with a pair. <laughs> you grease up your pace. <laughs> grease up the piece. What's the final piece of this puzzle? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, soup and dogs, man. Same in the day. Oh. Open that, yeah, yeah. This one? Oh, there's yeah, more to this? Those. Lads, thank you very much, sir. I know. 
classic. Oh, why? Christmas socks. Oh, fuck. Oh, why? I'll be having them on at Christmas. You day. have Christmas socks on already? Oh, why? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't open that yet. I'll get, uh, get Colin to open his. Okay. Okay. This one's heavy. You boys are too nice. <laughs> I got the toner. <laughs> and <then I laughs> what is shit? A double pack of black and white pudding. <laughs> I'm staying in the... Uh, I'm staying in a hotel tonight. That's all I need. That's all I need. I'm gonna be hammered at three in the morning, just chomping on a fucking <laughs> cock of black pudding. Why did pudding come in link sets? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't know how to get him. Can we get him a link set? No. We'll get him two black puddings. <laughs> did you even get that? I know people. Oh he knows God. people. You got that clown and guilty plug. That clown and guilty gift set. <laughs> <laughs> the presentation set. Which I was like 15 quid. Oh, oh, that's great. What a day. That is fantastic. What a day. The soup and dogs are about to go up a, up a gear. <laughs> soup and cocks. Cocks <laughs> and black pudding. <clears throat> oh, that's the thing I'm going to say too much. Well, and, and then say cock and black pudding. <laughs> you good for cocks and black you want a cock of black pudding? <laughs> what? <laughs> Take a cock. It's Christmas. No. No, fuck. It started. Tokyo roughed. I was like, is that a... I was like, is this a, a donut? It's... <laughs> Bro. What? Well, this is one there. Sir! <laughs> <laughs> no, get away. Here, here. So the assembly ten out of ten. Oh my god, she's neat. <laughs> oh fuck. I swear to God. <laughs> you are an artist now. I'll tell you that. Beautiful. This is like something you'd see in TikTok and they'd be like, the yeah, big gift this year, wrap someone up a sandwich. How fresh is this? I can eat this. Oh, fresh this morning. Fresh this morning, good luck. <laughs> oh, oh, she's herby. That's a good sauce. Only oh, he would put in a fucking Italian sausage or something. Sawyer's. He's like, he's like, don't drop it. There's fennel in that. <laughs> My what a mess. Oh, half a dog, everyone. Can I open this now? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's a herby boy, huh? Turkey to turkey to me. <laughs> Love it. Oh, my head's sore already. I can keep my black pudding in my sock. <laughs> I'm packing it into my bag to take it home. Sir, it's going to be some night not clear in the night. And that's a Herbie sausage. Compared to the fucking, the Sandra, the standard Sandra sausage. That's tasty. Are these, are these silly, are they? Uh, yeah. No, they're not. These are... Actually, alright. Santa Mandel? Yeah. Cool. You open it? <laughs> Are we open at the same time? This is gonna be the worst audio podcast to listen to of all time. Oh my god! Sir! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, Nile. Oh. No. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's bust out the finals. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, man. Amazing. Good job you gave me lube. <laughs> <laughs> get, someone get me a vinyl player in Facebook Marketplace quick. <laughs> he's a fan of Action Bronson. Let him listen to it and pretend he's in fuck. That's delicious. <laughs> Eat nine hot dogs in a row by himself in the hotel with a pair of new balls. <coughs> <laughs> thank you. No, that's incredible. Look at that there. Boys, thank you both. Eh? Thank that's you. Great. You'll receive your gifts in January. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> January the 4th special. <laughs> that's great. I'm taking it back. That's unreal. Very cool. Any other crack? Look at that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you have like I have like a watch mojo like top ten riffs from you, right? <laughs> but number one definitely has to be that type. Of, you've definitely told us saw here before, but the time we were coming back from Action Bronson, and sir, he had a hat on, right? And he he like pinned a can of Diet Coke and then stuck his head out the window to rift, right? And the hat in the wind popped off his head like a Charlie Chaplin film. And sir, I, I think that might be the hardest I've ever laughed, ever. <laughs> yeah. 
I remember, <laughs> I remember fucking uh, Maureen's sister sitting there in the back of the car with her legs crossed, like, I got a piss. I got a piss myself. Yeah, yeah, me and Nate were in the back, like, oh. like Def Jam comedy, slapping each other and all. Because <laughs> it literally just, like, it, there was no resistance. It just. Popped yeah. off. <laughs> and we we quite easily could have just stopped them and back for it. Like, nah, yeah. fuck it. <laughs> do, you know what's, do you know what's even worse? What? That's not the only time I've done that. <laughs> I did it by myself in the car. <laughs> going, to fucking, going to fucking Rushmere of all places. And I took a fucking hard left on this corner. But, uh, again. <laughs> Sir, you've lost two hands to riff the night the wind. My new Christmas album, Riff the Night the Wind. <laughs> Riffing around the Christmas tree. The fact that happened to you by yourself was were you angry that you can't laugh no, at you, <laughs> you just have to walk it off. You just yeah. have to be like, oh. And just keep driving a minute. Like, oh, was there a car behind you? I don't know. I got Amazing around. for them if there was just seen a guy put his head out the one that nah, come off. He's just been shot in the head. I just uh, plowed into a wall. <laughs> That's tremendous. Oh god. That's unreal. <sighs> Cheers anyway, boys. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah, I'm keeping that soup. That'll save me in about twenty minutes time. Uh, it's not warm now. Nah. Uh, uh, cows here. What's your favorite coil food? We were talking about that last night in the green room. McCartney and me both love a coil onion ring, which apparently is controversial. That's rank. Really? But it's like it's it's like the batter and then the batter, the <laughs> and the onion itself. Like I don't see what's wrong with coil sauce. Is unreal. Cold sauce is good. Coil cold, pizza is yeah. Cold chips dead, dead bro. Rotten. Coil spuds in general. Chips are dead. Um, hey, sweet potato fries fell off, didn't they? Uh, yeah. yeah. Hard like yeah. They're fine, like they have to be wild crispy. Yeah, I, I remember the first time. <laughs> I remember the first time when I ordered them, it was like Slim's Halfway Kitchen. Yeah, and shout out to our boy in Australia, short. He goes, "The fuck's that gay shit?" <laughs> <laughs> Sweet but potato days fruit. for fruits. But I, they kind of came and went. Like I've ne- I haven't seen any of the boys talking about sweet potato. Do you, do you know what fucked them? People thought they were healthier than chips, right. and, and they're actually higher in calories than normal chips. They're higher in calories. Yeah. So everyone else, well, I mean, it tastes like there's sugar in them. No. Uh, so everyone else went back to the fucking regular chips. Yeah. They fucked them, bro. I went to see Wonk over the weekend. No. Aye. Uh, fucking Timothy. Apparently I pronounced his name wrong. Did we last not talk week. about this last week? Have you fucking dementia, bro? No, I haven't. I I didn't go to it last week. Oh, we were just talking about it. Uh, but I wanted to see it, and it's a musical. I thought it was going to be Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, like another remake, but it was the prequel. It was about Wonka gaining the Chocolate Factory. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Why? See it. all these movies where it's like, do you want to find out how such and such got into in the business? No, just started from there. Was it a bit like that? What was the movie called? Jordan or something? What was yes. It? Yeah. Yeah. It's like that. Who gives a flying fuck? Yeah. Do you want to know? How, do you know how you know how hard? Willy Wonka worked before he got the fact. It was about the come up of Wonka. The coming yeah. of Wonka. Yeah. <laughs> it was the coming of Wonka. And it was How like, weird is Willy Wonka out of context? Nonce. Imagine somebody was just <laughs> imagine like, you know, you work with him in a fucking B and M's and he's running around like, oh chocolates, yeah. Like all this here, and then and then the guy owns a chocolate factory, he's a millionaire, and you're like, oh, you're the work yeah. there. He's yeah. a fucking idiot. Yeah. And you're called the police on him one day, he's chasing kids around the sweets. I think one of the shelf stalkers is a pedophile. <laughs> William Wonka? Billy Wonka? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I only do Terry Shock and Orange. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Wonka? <laughs> Fucking Billy Wonka. Look. You know the Wonkas? <laughs> From Newton Terry Wonka's youngest. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 fuck! Uh, Sam is a tough time now. Thank God that chocolate doctor factory took off the ground. I know. People didn't believe in him. Uh, <laughs> People like sure no one eats chocolate around here. I uh, it's chocolates back today was shade. <laughs> <laughs> what was that sound? That's oh why? That's how you know it's good gear there. Oh, 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 oh,
Fresh, fresh corkage with the Buffalo Bill. Save, bitch. <laughs> Buffalo Bill. <laughs> oh my god. Is that what it is, Buffalo Bill? I don't know. Is he not a serial killer? <laughs> <laughs> Tuck your neck between your legs. Do you have ice in the bucket, sir? There's ice in the bucket? Is it sacrilege to put ice in this? Man, don't you worry about the opinions of whiskey drinkers. You just talk on it. This is older than slavery, I'm telling you. How are you feeling this year? Are you dropping the F-bomb in Fairtale, New York or not? Oh, 100%. Aye. 100%. It's disrespectful to change it. <laughs> yeah, well, although... It's a beautiful piece of art. You know, since they did change it, some people really go hard on that particular word in yeah. the song, you know? you got to be in anywhere in public. I just drop water all over the roadcaster, so good luck. Uh, oh, you clumsy bitch. Uh, you know, you do, you do be in public and people are just hanging about to drop that F-bomb, aren't they? Oh, why? Yeah. Why the rise? Isn't it weird that Black Eyed Friday is a thing? Black Eyed Friday? Oh, Black, yeah. yeah. Black Guy Friday? <laughs> They do that in the Netherlands. Black guy Friday. The the fucking they're still blacking up in the Netherlands. Yeah, no that's no bad. bother. No cancel culture there. Two nah. places cancel culture doesn't exist. Netherlands and the sauna and the leisure center. <laughs> <laughs> and they own my leisure center. Them boys are just got that fly. What are you- you got yourself in a bit of a pickle this week. Uh, none of them are young enough to be watching us, so I, I've fucked it. I've, uh, What's a podcast, you fucking <laughs> nonsense? It's like the cure do. I've uh, got too deep into LA. Uh, I went into the sauna one time and I was chatting to the boys about football, told a white lie that uh, I watch football. Well, and one of them was like, who do you support? And I was like, oh, Liverpool, man. And then, like, literally, now I go in and they're like, fuck, rough result over the weekend. And I'm like, ah, oh, Jesus, don't chat, heartbreak. I have no clue what happened. <laughs> but you can bluff it, like. You just go ah fuck you know, we, we we do have a good side like it's just you know management shit and they're like aye right enough actually they'll ban it. If you were in there and you were like, uh, you know I don't I actually don't like watch football and they all start pulling towels around their cocks and all. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> here. See you know the way they have gay saunas. Yes. Like where they ride in the saunas. Uh-huh. Fair play because I oh. I can barely hold a conversation in a sauna. Oh yeah. Never mind fuck someone. Yeah, you be drifting off like. Yeah, I'm Someone's big hot sauna arsehole. No, nah, like, sir. And you know what it is, too? It's so funny. Because the old boys will, like, play a game with each other. Because it's like... Hide the sausage. Yeah. <laughs> Hide the bubbly. The, the, the toxic masculinity for them used to exist in the gym. Where it's like, I could love to have you, than you fucking bollocks. Yeah. And now they're too old for that. So it's... I could sit in the song on a longer than you can. Oh, So they're just sitting there, and then purple, pink. And then one of them gets out, and they're all like, Hey, go on! Hey, you fucking, hey, you fucking useless bastard! <laughs> you fucking pussy! <laughs> 21 minutes! Is that it? And meanwhile, their pubes are cremating. They've been <laughs> in there that long. <laughs> Do you lose pubes as you get older? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I could do a Harry Potter spell, man. Or something just, like, disappear. I think it's not it's not crazy like but uh, it's too much admin. I just give it the old scissor trim the odd time. Do you? Aye. Oh, that's dangerous. Why? Get a trimmer. Nah. <laughs> you cut it off. Uh, are you fucking <laughs> Yeah. You worried about snagging your bollocks with a monster? I don't exactly have the kind of pace where I might accidentally snip it. Yeah. You know, it's well talked. Yeah. <laughs> I just I just tuck it between my legs and just speak speak it like a garden. Speaking of Buffalo Bill. Fucking <laughs> you tuck it right behind. <laughs> It, it's amazing that you can get it with scissors where you can grab like a handful of it and twist it around and pull it out and then oh be like, shh. Taste that without the the Coke. This is Joe Rogan's whiskey shot. Honest opinion there. It's not bad, but I will have a cola. Yeah. it's. I mean, it's very smooth for for what we're dealing with. I feel that. I hate that. Fall into my stomach. <sighs> oh, where? She goes down quite. Oh, yeah. I mean, what is it? Is it really strong? It's like the time, that's forty percent. Woodsy bought me that Knob Creek. <laughs> <laughs> I had fucking one of them with the the father-in-law there, and uh, the two of us were, you know, again it was like two old boys in the sauna, like waiting for the first one to be like. It was like we dropped acid. I was like, you fucked. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm fucked. Yeah. And then I looked, it was like fucking forty-eight percent or something. It is good though to get full as someone at the same time. You know, you look at each other. It's and called you know socializing, I think. No, but some people <laughs> some people can handle their drink more than others. Yeah. So sometimes you go out with someone and they're absolutely fucked and you're like, oh, fuck, I'm just getting the swing of it here. Yeah. And sometimes it's you. 
Yeah. You know? But then some people, you know, like, you know, shout out to Begley. You know, that guy does not, doesn't read the room at all. Yeah. You know, you'd be like, oh, we'll get a wee drink with our lunch here before we go back to work. And he's like, I got 16 Jager bombs on a tray here. <laughs> and you're like, absolutely no call for it whatsoever. Yeah. You know? <laughs> no call for it. Yeah, the Jager like, bomb like, is... Uh, like a wedding reception, you know? And he just come up and be like, I got fucking 19 margaritas. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I got to be fucking booking it. Or-. It's like he can, he can, you know, yeah. he can predict it. He's having espresso martinis to wake. Yeah. <laughs> just get liquored. Oh, yeah, Begley. Fuck though. espresso martinis, too. Nah. Fuck them. Nah, I like them. I seen a meme and it was like, you don't need an espresso martini, you just need to go to bed. Nah, but if you're looking to keep on it and you are starting to drift off, an espresso martini will do the job. Like, or a Jager bomb, actually. Cocaine. Jager bombs, no. Touch that powder. <laughs> no, for Christmas. <laughs> no, for Christmas. Uh, do you think many people do cocaine on Christmas? Oh, I'd say so. Christmas Day? Hit the slopes? Yeah, hit, taking an eye lane. Like, I think. Uh, I feel like cocaine, it's primary use. Most people don't actually enjoy it. They just don't like being too drunk. So they'll take a line to kind of bring themselves down a bit. Yeah. I don't think I'd be it, just, it just seems counterproductive. Just see the night through. Just yeah. drink the pints, you know, stumble home. Get a pizza, go to go bed. To, get a pizza, go to bed. You yeah. don't need to be like, oh, I need five more hours of standing here talking shit. Yeah. Chris, that's bleak. That's a bleak scene, isn't it? Doing Coke on Christmas Day. Coke on Christmas Day is my... Going to, like, a restaurant on Christmas Day. Is, we did that one year. One year, my mom was like, no harm, fuck yous. you. Just, we would go to a restaurant. So we went out. And we went to this restaurant in Oma. I'm lucky of the name, but... Sally's? No, it wasn't. They weren't open on Christmas Day for dinner. It was, like, a hotel, mm-hmm. right? And we get there. And there was some doll from like down south who was absolutely off her tits. Nice. Right? She had the whole family with her. And you would have absolutely, like your dick would have fell off with embarrassment. You know the way you hate sincerity? Uh Uh-huh. This woman broke it into the song in the foyer. Right? But like she was, she was like, No, No, it was way worse than that. If she had done that, I might have like given it a chance. Yeah. She sang the hills above Drum Quinn. <laughs> you know that song? So she said Lil Nas X. <laughs> How specific. Like everyone was sitting there, right? And everyone's like, you know, it's like, we've just had the dinner. Now we're in the foyer. People were going to the bar. Some people were grabbing a drink. Some people were like sitting in the sofas with their families. And this woman literally had her head down, right? Absolutely skull fucked. Like should have went home, right? <laughs> and then she rises up and she goes, Drum Queen, you're not a city, but you're all the world to me. And the hills above Drum Queen. Can you get that on YouTube? I, nobody knew the words. Like she, it was, it felt like she was trying If to, you're writing a song called The Hills Above Drum Queen, it's for three people. There we go. Hills Above Drum Queen. Who, who by? The Pogues? Fucking Windows Movie Maker. In days long gone beyond recall, when I was very young, then I would pray to see a day. This was recorded at a lock in on a Motorola Razor. <laughs> or life course be run when I could sing the praises of the hells above drum when. How many hits is on that? 23k. Fuck off. Yeah. Where's Drum Quinn? Uh, don't ask me geography uh, questions. No point asking geography it sounds questions. like it's, it's near you somewhere, though. It is near me. Uh, it's near Oma, like. Yeah. It's very near Oma, actually. Near the hills? Above Drum Quinn. Uh. You're not a city, but you're all the world to me. Tell what a great it's... thing to say about a complete dump. <laughs> 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 you're not a, you're shit but you're grand <laughs> you're my shit <laughs> oh jesus oh fuck yeah no it is like we only did that one year and it was by far like it, it felt like a christmas that didn't happen like it was the weirdest christmas of all time uh, like when you're out on christmas day do you do you tip the staff like fucking 700 pound well they're already getting double pay but yeah it is good manners to tip the staff on christmas day yeah definitely yeah because they're probably the nightmares of people that would go out for christmas day like insane drum queen lady yeah oh my god man it, it was like i'd have been like ah yeah. no <laughs> i was sitting back and she was like halfway through the song nobody joined in and i was like mm. i was i turned all like rupaul drag race i was like you yeah. thought you did something though, didn't you yeah. 
<laughs> Silly dog bed. How do you feel about that? <laughs> how do you feel, how do you think that went? Shank. I think you should go back to the hills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking run back then, hills. <laughs> Stay in the hills. Hills of eyes, you ugly bitch. <laughs> I'd have been, I'd have went full bouncer mode, because I kind of look like a bouncer, so I'd be like, take our tricks outside, please! <laughs> no, not drum queen box, come on! You know when I wear that coat of my dad's, I actually do look like a bouncer. That just pure black coat. Yeah. Like, I came down the left with McCartney in Limelight, and I was just standing beside him, and McCartney goes, you actually do look like my security. <laughs> He's a, he, McCartney's got some drip these days. Oh, why? You know, he comes in. He had that cholo vibes at the. He had the big, he had the big shirt and the fucking the the creased khakis. I, I should cut in his eh? He looked like he should be, you know, like standing beside a fucking car bouncing in the background. I mean, colleges and cholos, same people. <laughs> <laughs> when you really dig into it, like, do you know what's a bold move? Pulling the the long sports sock above the knee and then letting the short come down over it. Oh, why? Absolutely. Just wear trousers, man. man. <laughs> so I, I, I went full Mexican. Just wear trousers, man. <laughs> if I leave a moustache on, I look a bit. I look like cartel esque. Yeah, like a like a cartel mugshot. Just, just have you ever had just hash? I, I I do it every time. Like if my face grows out a wee bit and then I trim it down, I'll trim the rest of it and just leave the tash. And I think it looks good, but it doesn't have a strange shape, mate. Yeah, you gotta be a certain build of a man to pull off moustache. I've done mustache for two weeks during the pandemic. Look like an actual pedo. Yeah, like a, a child killing pedo. Yeah, like one of those ones. Yeah, dark. <laughs> Arrested in the cell. God forbid my eyesight goes to shade and I have to get glasses. I'll be gone. Oh, do you want to wear them for the crack? Do you want to wear them? Well, if I've got a stash, it is like you could shave a mustache before tonight. Well, I'm gonna do the mullet in the new year. Oh, I have to quit vaping. Yeah, vape free, new mullet, new man. Where did that search you, that top? Oh, uh, what, jammies? Come on. <laughs> you see the piece? <laughs> see the piece? <laughs> Straight by. <laughs> it is like, Niall, you got me out. I am. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, love, are you wearing uh, a fucking uh, child's Christmas uh, sock? Why does it uh, only go, uh, why does it only go past her? Uh, that's the full Christmas dinner right there, sir. <laughs> Family. <laughs> it fucking smells like a Christmas dinner. <laughs> Bro, I walk, we were going into Asda earlier and I walked behind this woman who, uh, like the place is hiving with people and everyone's walking in and she'd stopped dead on her phone, she's about 65 and I looked, I just glanced at her phone and she was googling stuff and <laughs> they, I, they said stuffing but I don't know what sort of stuffing is that <laughs> Stuffing? Turkey stuffing? Did you hear that bit I tried at Lavery's last uh, night about the boy in the bus? I'll probably never do it again, but it was hilarious. Guy was talking and it was the bus Aaron. I got the Dublin through the crack then. Mm -hmm. And the guy was like picking at, he was picking at like a swish roll, <laughs> but like on the seat beside him. So he pulled out the swish My roll. My guy. Put it My beside guy. him. I was kind of like looking around, make sure nobody was looking. And then uh, we'd just take a clump of it and just throw it in his face. Then we'd go back in the rucksack, right? Pulled out a two liter bottle of Pepsi Max, starts gulping that, right? And then, you know the way you've got the wee slit in the seats? Aye. So he pulled out his phone. I was at the very back, he was in front of me. And like, listen, if you're in front of me in public transport, I'll, I'll have a wee nose in here. Just that vape out. You know? Go ahead, dogs off the lead! <laughs> <laughs> All day, like, woo! All day, like, woo! <laughs> what was it, Legs Africa? <laughs> Close raspberry eyes, and uh, he was in front of me, and he goes on his phone, and it, the man's running after <laughs> taking take one of these and then take a lube and see which one's tasty. <laughs> uh, can you try it right now? I have a full Would wank. Taster? Have a full start to finish <laughs> wank. <laughs> He's gonna hit that. Oh, hey, Christmas. Open the door of the Clayton. <laughs> <Dun, dun, dun, laughs> <laughs> Oh, I thought you were just putting that in your mouth. <laughs> I thought you were like, fuck it here. Let the dogs out. Ah, ah, ah. Could you put this stuff in McFlurry? What are you, no, no, what are you doing? I'm just going to squirt one wee bit out. Okay. What are you, bro? I think it's just, did you lick that? Yeah, not stinking. Aye, it's the smell, you fucking idiot. <laughs> But I was thinking it would taste like vape. You know the way in the vape shop people are like, let me try that Boston cream and you give them a wee squirt. 
You give them a wee squirt? Oh, why? In the vape shop? Yeah. Of the fluid? Yes. What do they do with that? They taste it. Look at this. That's, that's all grand to taste. All in their gums and all. Yeah, you can eat lube. <laughs> what are you boys ever under a fucking rock? <laughs> <laughs> what is the 1920s? You can eat lube. <laughs> People are eating lube. What the, what flavour is it? Strawberry? Stick it off a button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, just strawberry. strawberry. Safe and fun. You have to think about what smells compliment a cock. <laughs> Directions for use. Twist the pump to open. Oh my Apply God. Apply desired amount of lubricant to intimate areas. Reapply is needed. Condom friendly. Add to the outside of a fitted condom. A fitted? <laughs> None of them are fitted, lad. So, I have to sort of room temperature. That's one for the cupboard. <clears throat> I have to... Now nah, you're going to drop dead when you see this. I'm going to... um. I'm going to fucking ding a thing over to the computer here so now I can see it. <laughs> Hold on. Airdrop. MacBook Pro. This was sent down by Steve Nice. Oh, this is great. After last week's podcast. Scampy face. <laughs> Wash, Wash your, your piece in the sink. sink. <laughs> After your after your mate's dad washing his piece in the sink. Shout out to Steve Nice, man. Just fucking effortlessly hilarious with the Scampy fucking... Scampy thighs. Get that on a poster for the back of this fucking podcast. That'd be a... Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, anyway, t- sorry, tell me about... Sorry, I fucking ADHD'd all over you there, but... The, I can't remember what I was talking Swiss about. Roll. Oh, I so then he took... He, he took... This man took about four clumps of Swiss roll. No, then, no fork or knife or nothing? No, nah, it was just like... It was just like raw hammer. And then like... Raw dog in a Swiss roll. He was taking out the clumps of her and like eating it. <laughs> and then he drank the Pepsi, right? Two liter bottle by himself. I was like, this man's fucking... He doesn't give a fuck. Then he pulled out his phone, right? And I don't think they were related, but he went on to the internet. He was like texting someone, right? Couldn't, didn't read the text. I was like, that's a bit too invasive. Then he went back to Safari and he went Google and he typed in, what causes diarrhea? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I'm not a doctor, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> hey, go take a walk. <laughs> Switch your old Pepsi Max. I was like, sir, nobody's arse rolls man for that. Nah. Swe- full Swiss roll. In the rucksack. Of all snacks that he could have bought at the shop, like. 100%. Oh, I haven't, haven't, oh, geez, I haven't seen one of them in a while. <laughs> I thought you were taking a second one there. Ooh. <laughs> Do you- <laughs> Swiss rolls are banging it. Oh, uh, sir. Unbelievable. The Swiss, they know how to do it. They do. That's how they roll. Like, I don't need the flat, I don't need flat cake. Roll with that, I don't know what accent. You ever had funnel cake? <coughs> What's that? Battered donut. Is that when they just squirt it into the oil? Yeah. Funnel cake? Yeah. It's man. tasty. What, is that a churro? It's a delicious fat man treat. Yeah. You know. Them, them churros are fucking fat bastard material. At the Christmas, churros are Christmas, fat here. Especially at the Christmas market when the guy just ladles the fucking Nutella over it. You see that leaked menu for the Cosmics? The McDonald's cafe? Yeah. They're going to have churro lattes. I mean. They're trying to kill me. It's like, it's like not far off. You know like how they make foie gras? Yeah. We just get an old goose and shove shit down its neck and it's like, ah, 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 ah. Yeah. That's like that. I want uh, all my week's meals in one cup. Tim Wharton's ain't too far of that. Nah, it's not. You know, I used to get the birthday cake latte. The birthday cake ice latte. The ice cup? Yeah, which yeah. just ended up being the same thing with sprinkles. Yeah. You fucking know. That's how they get you. That's how they get See you. See me coming? I got a I, I went to boxing the other week and went for a, an ice cup right after. And it is, see, it's, you know, when you're like on a sort of empty stomach and, no, it's never empty, but you know, like on an empty stomach and you've just been drinking water and then you take the head of that, f- I was like, God, God damn. Oh, why? So sweet, like. Yeah, it's like if you haven't vaped in a while and you hit like a vape, it is like a crack pipe, like. Yeah. You know, you shouldn't be used to that. That's yeah. why, they need- what's your New Year's resolutions? Oh, um. What do you want? What do you, you know after? what? It's, you know, I'm a, I'm a simple man. I just want a, a bit more free time. That's it. It's, bore, it's boring as shit. I want more free time to to do more self care. What does self care look like for you? Luxury wanks. No. Take no. Talk me through that. You know, just work on my boxing man, my career, my you know, <laughs> you know, see if I can make that title run at thirty seven. Yeah. Them heavyweight boxers, they you know they they can they can work into their forties. No, I'm just I just want to sort all my shit out. So that I could just be a comedian. Yeah. I don't want to be doing admin and all that shit. I want to do hefty workouts and do comedy. That's it. I can see that for you. That's it. Because I thought I didn't like comedy, but then I was like, no, I don't like doing a day's work and then doing comedy. Yeah. So that's it. It's boring. 
Yeah. And also quite heroin. Delegate tasks get off the heroin. Yeah. I couldn't. Too much admin. I'm too lazy for heroin. I want to do a lot more trips. That's Aye. that's your resolution. Let's go to Austin. I mean, you fart like a demon and then <laughs> burp like a fucking... That's the thing. Like I'm, using up, I'm using up all the power in that. Uh, <laughs> they're not on left rope here. Yeah. That exhaust splits into the two. The throat's empty. The throat's empty. <laughs> the back pipe. Chaka blocked. Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> but the whole family's like that. Uh, whole family's dirty, smelly bastards. <laughs> Arse on fire. Christmas Day, it's like just non-stop fucking rifting and queefing in the house. <laughs> <laughs> and I know there's a couple people listening out there that families are the same. Like, you know, whenever you are so close together and you've known each other for so long, yeah. all shame goes out the window. Yeah. Nobody cares. Yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing to see. And no one acknowledges it even. They're just like, oh, lovely. What's this? <laughs> oh, God. No, like, well, the, the running bet that my mom does every time I fart, she goes, good man, Arn. <laughs> And that's it. I just coughed whiskey. <laughs> just, just every time, just go, good man, aren't. Yeah. But I've caught my, like, see, to be fair now, my ma is, uh, is a ninja. Time, how many times a day did she say, good man, aren't? Uh, like, she's got, like she's got Tourette's. 47 on average. Uh, <laughs> no, but my ma is, uh, <laughs> she, see, when it comes to, like, she, see, when my ma riffs, I think she's literally about to choke. Because, like, a burp for her is like a challenge. Yeah. Like, you know, You'll burp, right? It's like fucking noise comes out, standard procedure. She'll like go to burp and she go, yeah. I'm like, holy fuck, are you choking on a chip or something? Yeah. And then the burp will come out then like five seconds later. When it comes to farting, in the 29 years I've been alive, I think I've caught her fart four times. Caught her? Uh, yeah. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah. I think the last time was 2018. Gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Jackpot. And they've all been times where she didn't think I was in the house. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like I'll I'll like come into the kitchen and she's like getting ready to go out or something, and she she hasn't heard the door open, and she's there like doing her hair or something, and she just lets one off, and I go, you dirty smelly hair, good man, <laughs> good man, Ray. Good man, Ray. <laughs> we were see when she I was come out sometime. See when, see when I was a young kid, we were in fucking. <laughs> We were, we were probably like 12 or something. I remember this because we were in this guy's house and he had like his kitchen and he had like two, you know, like double doors with like glass panes on them. And we went in the house and his ma, his, his ma was like doing something to the fire. You know, there was like a fire in the house and she was wearing like jeans and a bra. She was like, she was obviously not, ex and this is not, not, not as sexy as it sounds. Right, okay. She was basically like, probably getting ready and be like, my shirt's in a tumble dryer or something. Yeah. And she was down like doing, you know, ma stuff. And I walked in and I was like, Jesus Christ, like this here. And she was doing something to the fire and just went like, dah, dah, dah. And, the, and I went, oh, fuck. And then she looked up and went, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing funnier than someone getting caught for like the, But uh, as well, like she's obviously around downstairs, like, you know, just in the brand jeans yeah. to get a fucking top or something. There's, I'll do this, whatever. Jesus Christ, fuck, we have to go and pick up the whatever. And I just, it's <laughs> <laughs> me just standing there. <laughs> Hard as a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Someone bend the horn section? <laughs> I was tight. It's a mouth fart. <laughs> Google mouth farts. <laughs> no, don't do it. Sorry, muscle memory kicked up. <laughs> Give me your eyes. Do one hand. Touch type and mouth farts. What else you want? <laughs> oh. but yeah, it is. See people getting caught doing anything. Uh, Which is totally normal, but when they get caught, it is embarrassing. Wanking and farting. Both so funny to catch someone in the act, especially if they think they're alone. I did one time go on Pornhub and look up caught masturbating compilation, and it's absolute like. Men or women? Both. No. Oh. The men are funnier. You're a wee pervert. Well, well no, because it's, it's, it's hilarious watching someone like, you yeah. know. Do that little fucking nervy jig yeah. that they do when they get caught in the moment. Like a woman, you know, they're elegant creatures. You know what I mean? They can get away with it a bit more. Man, when you're sitting there, Rod full out. Luther in hand, <laughs> yeah. Lego brick hard, yeah. right? And someone walks in, the fucking, the brain kicks in the fight or flight. Yeah. The funniest one I saw was a fighter bust. <laughs> 
every time bust bust every time <laughs> the funniest one I saw was a hotel maid walked on the fella and he just rolled off the bed <laughs> yeah you know like what do you do there like you just have to roll off the bed and pretend you're dead you just you do a wee bit of prep before you knock one out and you go okay what are my surroundings how am I gonna act if someone catches me yeah the ba- the most badass move is to just be like what are you doing here you know yeah just stay in the bed just, like stay hard just do nothing just be like loot out oh yeah just be like, you did this. This is your fault. That's trauma. Yeah. If you walked in, someone wanked and either. they pointed at you and said, you did this, that's their way. Like. No, you said to them. That's what I mean. I'd be like, here, we're busy. <laughs> Off you fuck. Like, you basically have to be like, not embarrassed about it. You ever got caught? Huh? You ever got caught? Nah, not really. Not really? Not like full loot or right? <laughs> like... <laughs> But I've definitely been, you know, someone's opened the door and you're mid bust, but yeah. it's under a blanket. Yeah. Do you want a cup of tea? I'm in a minute. Shattered this morning. Full omelet down the cack. <laughs> <laughs> well, good morning. <laughs> you, you on it off. <laughs> Jesus. So what do you have for breakfast at Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> can I t- can I talk about being molested by elves? What happened? Let's talk about it on my podcast, but got, you know we've got a new audience here. What happened? I went. I took Eddie to the Santa Experience, and uh, I'm not. I'm not even going to say where it is, but we took him, and they've set out this whole Santa. Did I tell you this now? No. I go to the Sand Experience, right? <clears throat> it's un- unbelievable production. Uh-huh. Like they've got set builder. They must. They've really done a job on this, like walk through Christmas tour, basically. And uh, you know, you go in and you, there's all like, what, what are they doing? Larping? Like people, like actors in there going like, hey, "Hello, kids, welcome to the Polar yeah. Express." And you sit down. They're from Maglish. Uh, and the TV's up the side. Look like the train's taken off, and you can see he's like, "There's oh my god, what's that? It's Santa and his sleigh and all this here shit." And then you go into the next section, and they bring out like a big fuck. It's supposed to be like a yeti, and of course all the kids shit themselves and be like, "Oh, no one wants a photo with a yeti." And then <laughs> we go around to the, there's all these little sections. You know what I mean? You go in, and it, there's like an this big animatronic fucking thing, and he's supposed to be like an old elf. You know, like I used to be a young elf, and the, you know, like the head's moving all slow, like. None of the kids were scared of that, but shit themselves at the yeti for some reason. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, you know, there's obviously like a voiceover playing, and this older elf is like, and I wrote a letter to Santa. And the guy probably in it can't see out of it, probably, but he's like, turn around to me, you know, like, and holding the gaze too long. And I was like, <laughs> you know, like nervous as fuck. Then we go into the next bit. And this is the penultimate bit before you get to see Santa. Yeah. So you go in and there's two elves. They pretend to be elves. And you're, you, it looks like you're under a mushroom thing. It's fucking, they've done a lot of work in here. It's great. This is mad. And these, everyone else, professional enough actor. You know, everyone's like, hello, welcome to the thing. And then you get in there and they've like just dragged two people off the street. Well, lads, welcome <laughs> to fucking, I'm an elf now. And uh, the, here's here's the joke, right? The guy's got a candy cane, and he goes, "We're gonna see who's been naughty this year." And he goes around, and he goes, "When it goes off, it's you know you've been naughty." The joke is, it's all the dads. Yeah. She's like, "Right, all the dads are gonna have to come up." The only way you can get off the, by the way, the guy's going around the room, and he's like, "Oh, you've been naughty. You've been naughty." Gets to me, oh, you've been naughty. Right, drops character, and then goes, "You can't get." And I start immediately sweating on my lip. I'm like, uh huh. Yeah. And he goes, Oh, we got a. That's what he said. A celebrity amongst us. And no, I'm he like, didn't. Oh, you fucking. By the way, this this public humiliation would have worked had anyone else known who I was. Yeah. But everyone was just like, What is he? Wait, who, so he went back to character and said, We got a celebrity? Yeah. Oh, my. Th- and he's like twirling the big candy cane and all. Hey, fucking. And, uh, and the girl goes, the only way I can get off the naughty list, she's full. She's like, the only way I can get off the naughty list. <laughs> she's sounding like Begley. Is the dance, sing a song, do a dance, tell a joke and all. And she goes, do you have a joke you can tell us? And I went, not in this room, bitch. Not in here. Not in here. <laughs> not in here. Oh, God. We all know who Jeffrey Epstein is. <laughs> Make some noise. 
You know, I was like, ha not for in here. Any of them PG? And I went, fucking not at all. Oh my God. And then they were like, you know, you got a sex holiday dance. And she goes to this fella. The guy was like, uh, like a mod. You know, he, got, he had that fucking, that haircut and the clocks on and everything. And she goes, uh, do you have any party tricks? And he's like, no, no. Like, shy enough, guy. He's like, no, not really. She goes, well, you're going to have to drop down and give me 20 press ups. And he goes, oh, I'll give you five. And she goes, meet me in the middle, do 10. This is awful. Drops to the floor. By, by the way, Santa's next door. So the kids aren't, the kids aren't like on the seats going like, my daddy's being made a cunt of. You know, they're all just like, mommy, mommy, I don't, you know, where's Santa? So the dads are, I, I look over, he's doing press-ups. And I'm like, what is happening here? And then she starts going like, right, we're, we're going to have a booty, literally says this, a booty shaking competition. And the music starts playing. The other fella, the elf, he starts doing a wee dance. Eddie's like, oh, we're dancing now. He jumps up and he's like, you know, doing all this fucking shit. And uh, I'm just sort of like copying it. I'm just like, yeah, we're dancing. Good fun. Trying to be like, it's about the kids here, you know, you silly bitch. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. And she's like, oh, I hope you didn't meet your wife on the dance floor with those moves. You know, and then just grabs Damn, her. Grabs her. Grabs, grabs, I know. I was like, bitch, I don't fucking. Grabs me, by, <laughs> grabs me by like the fucking hips. And starts like shaking my arse and all. And I was like, what? It? Here. We'll draw the line of touching. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, and then a couple of the families are going through to Santa. And then she's like, we're not done with you. Sit down over there and all. And I'm like, nobody's watching at this point. Nobody's here. Eddie's over with Maureen. They're fucking about. It's just me and this fucking elf, for want of a better word, right? And she takes my hat off and she goes, oh, that's where Santa's bobble went. Because I'm bald. And I was like, you've cornered me here. We're surrounded by children, strangers. And I can't just be like, fuck off. Sir. That was absolutely terrible. Yeah. I would have paid five hundred pounds to see that. <laughs> I bet. I bet. I would have cleared out the I, I bet I would have went back into my overdraft for that. Do you know what in my head in my head I thought like at least give me the decency of an audience for this? Yeah. The bobble line is uh, at least at least let far. me at least let me get publicly humiliated <laughs> instead of just me and you. Man, they touched you, they made a ball joke. Like that yeah. is yeah. fucking Don Rickles in an episode. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I, it was to nobody. And then she, I just stood up and she she fucking she took that long with me. That we were the last family to go through to see Santa. The next four families came through. And then she was all like, hopefully there's no naughty people in here. I don't know if this guy's ever going to go off the list here. You know, like, <laughs> that, that, to be fair, that is funny. Like, were they saying, like, reasons why the person was naughty as they were, like, waving the candy cane? Uh, You've been doing Chinese accents on a podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> naughty, naughty. <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> and it's very accurate. And then the guy at the end was like, hopefully we won't hear anything about Sven on the podcast. And I was like, we will. <laughs> we will hear about it, Sven. <laughs> Real name, Michal. <laughs> <laughs> and then they were like, okay, guys, Santa's ready for you. And I was like, I'm fucking ready myself. <laughs> See you later. Wait, so what was what was old Santa like himself? Fantastic. Yeah. Gentlemen. Fantastic. <laughs> fucking Santa's a scholar. The, the rest of it was fucking a beautiful experience before I got fucking molested by these elves. That's insane. This is Sven, and I'm Siobhan. You've been a naughty boy this year. You big baldy fucking fat. You'll be getting no presents, you beast bastard. You've been hitting Santa <laughs> rolling your car with yourself. <laughs> no one here, Siobhan. I don't give a fuck. Good job you're not Santa. You wouldn't get down a fucking chimney. You fat. Past it anyway. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and then you have to switch out of it to go into Santa and Santa's <laughs> gentleman. Great, Sa great, great, great Santa. Great Santa. I think he had a real beard too. Yeah. <clears throat> and he was like, oh, well, and he's like, close your eyes and feel the Christmas spirit and all. And then the fucking snow <laughs> starts. Just watch you <laughs> Siobhan's back. Feel the Christmas spirit. <laughs> Siobhan comes back, balls you with a ball of Glens. <laughs> <laughs> Glens is the Christmas spirit. I'm a wee scamp. And then the snow started coming down. Oh, it was lovely. It was beautiful. And That's then we great. just walked out. And Maureen, Maureen did that thing, which was like, I know how much that fucked him off, but I'll just keep looking forward and not speak to him. And I'm Sir. just walking around going, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking, oh, okay, help me Christmas. I yeah. can't even imagine this happening, do you? Uh, that's uh. insane, like. My face the whole time? No, I can't. I can't even imagine what you would have done in that scenario. That's so funny. What did I do? Sweated a lot. Yeah, sweated a lot. Yeah.
I was I was laughing at the guy doing press ups initially, and then I was like, I'd do a hundred press ups to get out of this shit. Wouldn't it be so funny if you just took a turn, and swung for them? I, I should have because no, like the, it would have been funny if everyone else was like, "Fuck me, your your man does comedy." Yeah, is that that Barry Blender or something? Yeah, like if they'd have known who I was, it would have been funny to make a comedy yourself. Yeah, but they didn't, and then they left, and no one was there. And she's just like, "Oh yes, bald and fucking you." <laughs> Hopefully, you didn't meet your wife on the dance floor. You got maybe like a fucking she's talking to better me than you. <laughs> and the tickets were there, man. You know, they're not letting you in there for free. Oh, why? Wow. Jeez. What are you shouting? I don't know. I didn't even ask Maureen, but she was like, they're quite pricey. Yeah. Fucking Coachella prices? Huh? Coachella prices? <laughs> yeah, it's a Glastonbury. <laughs> they walk through this fake wonderland. And she, Maureen, Maureen, definitely, you know, and you're like, I'll just let him simmer. You know, I just started driving the way home, fucking white knuckle in the wheel. Oh, I can only imagine. We'll go for a coffee, huh? Yeah. You need a good sleep after that. Yeah, I tell them before. All the boys should go back. All the lads should go back to the fucking uh, yeah. thing. Do a bit of boom roasting. I was, I I've definitely told this before, like a general banter. But I remember the time I went to, like I was away, in, like, and I went to one of those kind of like Santa grottos, like in the country. And uh, <laughs> Santa, it, it wasn't as mad as that. Like that seems like a fucking magical experience for a child. Yeah. This was very much like you just walk through the house straight to Santa, but Santa could not give two fucks. Yeah. And I sat in this fella's out of jail. I sat in this fella's knee and he goes, What are you after anyway? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Well, I wouldn't mind a PlayStation if you were knocking. What are you looking? <laughs> I'm on a five or an hour. What are you looking? Yeah. Oh Jesus. No, you don't you don't sit in Santa's knee anymore. Oh, you actually don't? No, I just stand near him. Oh, okay. In and case then, he's an aunt. Uh, yeah. And then okay. they and then they had a, a wee camera set up and they let the snow come down and then you're like Nice. You wouldn't have liked it. Now the lighting was terrible. Nah, uh, was I was like, the, the lights bouncing back off the snow here. I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Some racket though with the Christmas gear, sir. I mean, I have a lock of nephews and nieces, and they're all going to that shit. And the average I've heard is like forty pound a ticket. Oh, why? And even even the Christmas shop, you know, you can get these ve- like very elaborate Christmas trees, absolutely covered in ornaments, and each of them's like itemized, and you pick up there's. Not a scene which I actually liked. It was like, oh, that's cool. It was like a candy swirl, like a white stripes style, big disc for your tree. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Look, that it was like forty quid, and the whole tree was covered in them. I was like, I would be out of an armed security guard standing in front of this fucking thing. It's so funny working in the vape shop and seeing the people come in and like make t- small talk about Christmas. And you've got two categories. You've either the people that are like, oh yeah, it's great, you know, whole family gets the guy or whatever. And then you've the fella comes in like by himself and he's like, whole thing's a fucking racket. Yeah. Whole thing's a fucking racket. Yeah. Christmas, it's lost all the goodness. Yeah. It took all the goodness out of it. I don't like having to buy someone a present. Yeah. I'd rather just drop it on them. Yeah. Weird times. Gotcha. Yeah. Give them a Christmas gift in like February. Yeah. Which is what you boys will get. Yeah. Uh, you know, February gifts. And I dare say it'll be noodles. <laughs> No, I have a cool idea, but it's uh, like I would have had to have had the cool idea in like November for the for to pull it off. Yeah, you'll see. You just bastard, just. <clears throat> How you feeling right now? I need a pesh real bad. Yeah, yeah. That's how we end this Christmas, this festive period. Christmas pesh. I need a pesh. <laughs> oh, we one oh five. There we go. No, oh, why? That day is one. When are we? What's the next one after Christmas Day? New Year's, New Year's Day. New Year's Day. Yeah. Then we'll start the year strong. Fucking right. And then we've got a live podcast, which is so light. January 2nd. Yeah, absolutely. My tickets for the waterfront are right as well. First time in the waterfront. My show, Goat. Get us on another tour. By your name. Man, what am I like? By your name. I'm a sassy goat. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel a bug brew on that one. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that was a water. I've got nine bodies in my guts. Half a cup of soup. Whiskey. Is that a Rick Ross lyric? <laughs> yeah. Nine bodies in my guts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Two cocks of black pudding. If you ever wanted to subscribe to the Patreon, I feel like now would be a good time because uh, we'll probably yeah, be... We're about to answer some questions on Patreon and, and the boys are... <laughs> the boys are fucking like an old dishcloth. <laughs> Folks, Merry Christmas to Merry you Christmas and your loved ones. on the Patreon... Aaron's gonna need a full yard of party <laughs> party rings. 
And you're going to listen in real time. We're not going to speed it up at all. Guys, look after yourselves with a facet braid. Wash your piece in the sink. Wash your piece in the sink. <laughs> you know, Carl Tab only. And, well, don't uh, be afraid to just get up mid-dinner and walk away and go for a walk and listen to this podcast. Yeah. Either. You know? Don't be afraid to flick your bean watching this podcast. On Christmas? No. Show them the piece through the striped pants. Though. No, I can't do that. Come on, come on. on. Yeah. Demonetize the major. Show them that candy cane. I can't. I don't even have a wank on Christmas. Oh, that's, that's, another, that's another great conversation starter. What? How do you nip off for a... I don't do it. For a hand it's family shirt? time. It's family Even business. before you get out of bed? Nah. How are the presents are here? It's Jesus' like, birthday. Two say No? No, nah, you can't pull the piece in Christ's birthday. Boxing Day bust? Boxing Day, we're coming back strong. <laughs> coming back strong. <laughs> Full of fucking Baileys. Boxing Day, we're back in office. <laughs> it just smells like toffee. <laughs> Watch out, Mike. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What are you going to the What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Smash up gear. <laughs> right, we're going to get out of here, guys. I hope we have a fucking lovely time. Uh, whatever that means to you. Maybe you're Jewish. I don't know. What do you, what do you be at? Having a Chinese? And if you are, how the fuck do you get here? <laughs> 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 As I listen to this podcast, I'd be very surprised if we had a Jewish listener. Yeah, shout out if you're a Jewish listener. If you are, right in. free tickets for life. <laughs> anyway, see you later. For Golden Ulster. Guys, have a nice Christmas. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I've laughed myself fucking aneurysm there. <laughs>